Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be planting a few uh, interesting perennials and a few more annuals into my uh, landscape here in Raleigh, North Carolina, Zone 7B. I just planted this golden Oakland holly uh, that uh, uh, is really quite striking. This is a uh, variegated, upright, uh, narrow growing holly. Great for a screening plant. Also great to go in this very large container that I got from Michael Carr Designs. I wanted something that would actually, you know, kind of compete in size uh, with this container. Uh, I can leave this holly in this container for a couple years and it should look great over here. I think it's a nice uh, addition to this little front corner space uh, that I have. I just planted it in some uh, pine bark soil conditioner and compost uh, mixed, it, mixed together. I'm going to add something to the front of it to weep over the front. Haven't decided what that's going to be yet. I'll run into it someday and It'll go in when I find it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let's get started planting a few other things. I'm hidden back here behind my uh, Empress of China dogwood. Uh, I put a, a native hibiscus back here. This is a pink flowering a native hibiscus. These are hardy in zone four to nine. There's lots and lots of choices, lots of new ones uh, on the market as well. This happens to be a pink flowering one that will get up three or four feet tall. So it'll just go right over the back side of this fence so you'll be able to see the flowers from the street side um, on the top, but the foliage will be hidden, hidden down here um, behind it and behind, this, uh, and behind this dogwood as well. So just trying to get the flower color up here right above the fence, other things flowering right down on the other side of it uh, on the ground. And again, this is a uh, native hibiscus that will come back uh, every year. I have this exit for my mailman to walk uh, from my house into the neighbor's yard. I currently have a uh, um, a bluebird a house <laughs> sitting in the middle of it because there's they're nesting in here right now I'm eventually going to move it right now. It's sitting in the center, which is kind of odd, but it will eventually move I'm putting in um, on the uh, right hand side here. I'm putting in a cast iron plant called a sahi This one has no color on it uh, right now But it gets these beautiful white tips uh, in the future as it matures uh, cast iron plants are evergreen. They're gonna It's gonna reach about the height of the fence right here, be evergreen, have white tips on the top of it. Really, really beautiful. Um, I've got a, uh, I got a new, another hosta um, called Curly Fries, and uh, <laughs> it's just the coolest thing. Uh, I couldn't resist this one. I have a lot of hostas in this yard now, but uh, this one, uh, this one I couldn't resist. So, Curly Fries hosta going on the left. Uh, there's a camellia right here in about three, four years. Uh, it's going to eat this whole space and uh, I'll pop this hosta out of the ground at that time and move it somewhere else. But in the meantime, I'm going to uh, be, you know, you know, be under planting it. Camellias are so slow growing. Uh, again, it's, it'll just be years before it's a problem. A few other things just went in the ground that I will uh, show you. Another project I did this morning was I transplanted this variegated dutzia that was right here. Um, it got planted and then this has kind of evolved as a little bit of a walking path between these annuals and these uh, shrub plantings up here. And it just ended up uh, kind of out of place. That happens. I'll show you where I moved it to. All of these beds are looking uh, pretty good. Uh, these zinnias that I did from seed uh, got planted there. Some calabrocoa uh, down below it uh, got planted uh, yesterday. Uh, over here, um, I put this crinum lily into this space. It'll actually out eventually outgrow. Uh, this space honestly it can be dug up and divided or whatever flowers like crazy pollinators love it i'm turning this little spot here into a great little pollinator area uh, there's some um, scaviola that i planted here this is a purple variety and a pink variety if you're unfamiliar with scaviola the uh, pollinators just absolutely love love them they're great in hanging baskets and so if you want to have something interesting in a hanging basket where you can watch uh, you know, pollinators come up to your uh, front porch. Uh, um, scaviola is a great addition for that. There's white varieties too, white, pink, purple, kind of lavender uh, colors. I'm just going to let them creep across the ground uh, in this area. And I planted that Plectranthus uh, in that spot uh, the other day, which will bloom all summer as well. This is going to be a good, good little pollinator spot. I've laid this uh, stone path out. It's going to get dug in here uh, in the next uh, few days. Uh, lots more annuals going into this spot, um, some zinnias and uh, coleus and other things. This is where that uh, variegated dutzia just landed. Uh, pretty good spot for that, I believe. And there's lots more gomphrena and celosia and pentas that are going in along this uh, bed edge. I've shown so many uh, annual plantings at this point. I think I'll just do those 
uh, off camera. I put this uh, purple foliage penstemon uh, into that spot. Uh, this thing will bloom bloom in a few weeks, be quite colorful on the edge of this bed and just including the foliage really. Uh, and uh, coming back around here, that uh, this is where that hibiscus is uh, at the base of the fence right there. And then I'll back back out here so you can see that big container that I put in right at the beginning of the video. And I think that uh, that holly is going to, uh, to look great in it as it gets, gains a little bit of height, something weeping over the edge of this container eventually. This path is about to uh, also be uh, built out with stepping stones going over to the fence. And this is where I planted that uh, hosta on that side. And uh, that Asahi cast iron plant uh, went, into that, went into that space. So thank you guys for uh, following along with the channel and uh, all of my uh, mad plantings that I'm doing uh, in this early, early spring. Got lots more pieces still to go in the ground. Uh, make sure you're uh, subscribed to the channel and hit that little bell notification so you're alerted when I upload videos and you'll see how all this comes together during the growing season. Thanks for watching.